Did you know that Sri Lanka owes 3 billion US dollars to China? How is Sri Lanka paying off this massive credit to China? Would Sri Lanka be forced to compromise India's security concerns under pressure from Beijing? China's request for a research ship, the Shi Yan 6, to dock in Sri Lanka has caught New Delhi's attention. The vessel, manned by crew of 60, is officially geared for oceanography and marine studies. It is set to reach Sri Lanka for any research activities in October. But the question remains: Is this really just a research vessel, or another surveillance ship like the ones Xi Jinping has sent to Sri Lanka in the past? The Xi Yan 6 is described as a survey vessel with carrying capacity of 1115 deadweight tonnage. It's 90.6 meters in length and 17 meters wide. Septa ship weighing 3999 tons originates from Guangzhou and is navigating in the South China Sea heading southward. This is after 2 weeks when the Chinese PLA Navy's 138 member warship Haiyang 24 Hao arrived in Sri Lanka on a 2 day visit. The island nation had witnessed multiple such visits by Chinese vessels causing raised eyebrows in India. Last year the arrival of Chinese ballistic missile and satellite tracking ship Yuan 15 in the port of Hambantota stirred strong reactions from India. Such visits have raised security concerns giving India's apprehensions about China's expanding influence in the Indian Ocean, its growing presence in Sri Lanka. China's strategic move, often referred to as string of pearls, aims to create a military presence around the Indian Ocean region. This involves developing and investing in strategic ports and naval bases, one being in Cambodia for economic and infrastructure projects, and strategically positioning itself in the key locations, to enable them to extend their operational range and exert influence across the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean.